Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Listen, I want to go ahead and talk about Housewives of Atlanta. We have a lot, not a lot to go over, but you know, there's this looming, y'all know, this looming reboot, potential possible reboot that Lovey Scott said was going to happen where they want to do a complete overhaul of the entire show and get rid of everybody, kind of like Real Housewives of New York style, right? You know, what's interesting is yesterday or last week let's start with last week last week there was a tmz article talking about kim zoziak saying that they're not interested in kim zoziak coming back to the show but it's not personal toward kim zoziak they just don't want to cast old women that's number one number two yesterday we talked about the fact that sire riches ross went on to two peas two peas two t's in a pod excuse me and basically stated that she has not had her pre-filming meeting but none of the ladies have had a pre-filming meeting right which makes lubby scott claims about a reboot valid because what's taking so long if y'all aren't bringing people back if you guys aren't bringing everybody back like why are we in limbo for so long i'm a little bit confused at the situation it feels like it's dragging along and i think that's because they really are thinking about scrapping everybody right so anyways um so y'all in today's time we have candy burst tucker now candy sat down with a young gentleman by the name of Tyreek. Tyreek Wynn from iHeartRadio National News. Um, I think he's a part of the Black News Network or something like that. I will link it down below. Go ahead and watch the interview. But they're talking about this possible reboot. And Candy kind of has like this nonchalant attitude about it where she goes, I mean, well, if they want to reboot everybody, then fine. If they want to replace everybody, then fine. Kind of like a you know, they should do what they want to do. It doesn't matter to me, sort of attitude. But then she kind of goes, but I highly, highly, highly doubt that they're going to find a whole new group of women that is going to satisfy the fans. Check this out. People constantly need to see change to feel like they're getting something. So if they feel like they need to make changes, then find a cast that you think is going to work. Yeah. Do I think they're going to find a whole cast of people that's going to work and satisfy our fans? Probably not. It's hard to find one new person a year. It's not as easy to cast this show as you may think. And y'all, why do I low-key agree with her? Why do I low-key agree with Miss Candy Burst Tucker? I feel like if they go out here and find six, seven women, you guys are not going to be satisfied with that. The fans aren't. I feel like if they keep the same seven, eight women, you guys are going to hate that even more. I feel like even if they bring back the girls from season seven, who is that? Portia, Phaedra, Lanithia Leakes, which that is never going to happen. I feel like you guys may love the initial idea, but y'all are going to find something to complain about. So my whole thing is production should not listen to the fans. I mean, they should do what they feel like they need to do in order to garner interest in the show because at the end of the day we don't know what the peacock numbers look like and i'm looking at the numbers for like the ratings and comparing the ratings and stuff like that and if you compare it to the real housewives of orange county their ratings are not as high but no one is talking about a reboot on their show right uh real housewives of salt lake city their numbers are really bad if you ask me like their live saying day viewers and i know y'all can scream from the rooftops the networks don't care about live saying day viewers that's fine but it's still a metric and it's the only metric that we can go by we don't have streaming numbers now per the writer strike and the actor strike why don't these streamers and these networks release the streaming numbers so we can really see what's going on but they're never going to do that because they don't want to pay these people I mean, I'm just saying like Carlos King he went on to Twitter the other day and it was something about streaming and he was like Y'all love to talk about live same day viewership, but the networks don't care about that. They care about the streaming. Well, I think it's safe to say if a million people are watching your show live same day, then you're going to have a boatload of people watching it on streaming because it's just a popular show. Like people are trying to make it seem like live same day viewership is like this antiquated metric, which in a way, yes, it is. But it's going to tell you something about the show. If nobody is watching the show on TV, why would they be watching it on streaming? The live same day viewership is indicative of the streaming. If only 100,000 people are watching your show live same day, then I can only assume maybe a couple hundred thousand more will watch it in, let's say, a two weeks time span on uh, whatever app they're streaming on. Going back to my original thought, because I just went off on a tangent. 
I feel like when I compare the Real Housewives of Atlanta to a Salt Lake City or an Orange County, the numbers are vastly different. They're different. So it's interesting that Roa is getting the brunt of these reboot uh, rumors and everyone hates the show and it's such a flop and it was the worst season ever, et cetera, et cetera. But somehow their ratings aren't nearly as bad as a lot of these other shows and no one is speaking about a reboot for these other shows. I mean, I'm just saying, so it's really, really interesting. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the situation. But did you peep how uh, Miss uh, Candy Burris Tucker was so nonchalant about the situation? Like, I don't care whether they reboot it or not. You know what? I'm going to have to go ahead and give props to Candy Burris Tucker. I feel like the only reason why she's on this show is strictly to promote her businesses. And I don't blame her for that, even though I get sick and tired of the entire show being just one big commercial for her ventures. But I feel like she's such an important part of Atlanta and she has built her brand up, you know, to such an amazing level. And she has extracted everything that she can from this show that I feel like even if she wasn't on season 16 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, that her businesses would still fare well. Right. So um, shout out to her. Listen, y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.